That's awesome. They've been hanging around for a while, those. I've never seen anyone use them. I saw them down the back a few times and I thought that she won't complain. So they were outside the tent for a while and then lying down. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the kids had them. So they should, they should be out in front of the. Uh, okay, we're, <laughs> we're online. Hey guys, we're on the, the podcast here, live stream. <laughs> Come and have a seat. What happened to the mic? Should still be there. Have a s- all right hey everybody welcome to the bow show how to change the world edition part 17 i wonder what number we're going to get to podcast do a podcast every day i wonder what a thousand episode of thousands were going to be like because i know you know like the joe rogan podcast his first couple it was just in the in a in their bedroom type thing and by a thousand episodes they'd like conquered the world they had like hum- amazing guests they'd really nailed it with their podcast studio everything had just like uh, transformed from that oh let's try podcasting moment that probably Joe said to Brian Redband so yeah, you've just got to do it. You never know where it's going to end up. So yeah, we've got lots of big dreams for this place. What do you... Oh, the mic? Yeah, so we've got big dreams. And we've got uh, big dreams for just the podcast studio. <laughs> How are we going to design it and upgrade? I've got a good idea for that. Yeah. This is the cool thing. Like we've got, there's a bunch of girls over by the uh, the clothing rack, just trying on different clothes. This is the fun part of having all these different clothes that people can swap. I found a shirt today. See my shirt? This was this was on the rack. It's like pineapples, pineapple or watermelons. Sorry, <laughs> pineapples and watermelons. Did you know that? Do you know the symbol of the pineapple is a swingers symbol? Awesome. Like if you wear pineapples, it means that you're a swinger. <laughs> I'm a swinger. And it's letting everyone else know that you're a swinger. How funny is that? It's like little secret secret messages to the world. So other other I'm sw- in swinging. <laughs> I can't hear you yet. Oh, hang on. I'm in Your mic's off yet. I try try that. I'm in swinging. You're into swinging. Yeah. Swinging w- both ways, um, left, right. Depends what sort of <laughs> substance and I'm supplied with. <laughs> How much? Gosh. I can go anything. Yeah. Wow. Well, have you have you tried uh, amyl nitrate? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. No, not a fan. Like nah. No. I just tried it on like the dance like floor. Like it's good to stop yourself from coming. Oh yeah. But. Um, is it? It's just much easier to just think of your fat grandma <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to be thinking about that while you're making love. Yeah, well, I don't want right. to be sniffing aim and stop myself from coming either. No, nah, that's true. So just think of grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it slows you down a bit. I thought you'd just count to ten or something. No, I can't do count that. Count to a hundred. One, two, three. <laughs> think of grandma. I think I prefer the ammo. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, so... Down in my, um, I bought it back this time, and I can show you when I, when I think of it. I've got um, I've got a length of uh, high tensile chain. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to actually cut it up because it's good for towing um, railway sleepers around. Oh yeah. Not sleepers, are uh, railway lines. Yep. A pair of them. Cool. Um, but behind a vehicle and it helps smooth things down. For the tr- what? For whatever. To for like you know, for the roadway, yep. for fire breaks, for just roads, yep. um, flat and gra- grass down, whatever. It's um, it's chain you can yeah use to tow a truck basically. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, but what what I was thinking about for this is um, maybe if we could 
like a chain coming down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now you want a couple of shelves. Just put the ch shelves via a couple more chains. Yeah. And then it's just hanging. Oh, hanging like the shelves. Yeah. Hanging. Yeah. Okay. Big, then, big night anchor train. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, because that think, weight um, would give that ability to hold yeah. the shelves down. So this other guy Brent's going to come on the show tonight. Do you want to talk? Come over here. We've only oh, got one. Yeah. We've only got one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to play for a while. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. he, here's, here's another rude person. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to Little India <laughs> season two. Here tonight, <laughs> we have got movies happening in the barn, celebrating somebody's birthday party. I think his name is Robin tonight. It has been very good. We have been singing about the woolly mammoth. <laughs> 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 So my friends, what is happening over here? <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> that's nice, that. man. We, I'm just deciding that we, tomorrow I'm going to get the cameras set up where we can have more, more than one camera so we can actually see you guys on the podcast. Ha, have you got other cameras or do you need yeah, me I've to go to my storage? I've got one other. Thank you for reminding me because I do have this and GoPro, GoPro for you. Yeah, because we, yeah, we'll yeah. talk about Yeah, that. I've got one too. A real beautiful yeah. one. We can yeah. have a Together fish we can make magic. Yeah. Mine's in my storage. Well, mine's just up the road. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes. No, 20, 20, minutes. 20 seconds. Can't even hear your bloody Aussie accent. Bring that. What are you talking? I am not Australian. I am from <laughs> India. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do you think you were an Indian in a past life? And that's why you friend. can channel that, that voice? Everything is one here in Australia. We think we're far, but we're not really. It's the same planet, right? Same planet. We're actually on the western coast. We're connected to Indian Ocean. So I think there is some connection. Some, some influence. I think so, my friend. Yeah. Well, you know, the, this, this bit of landmass from Augusta to Dunsborough broke off from India. Oh, yeah. that explains Yeah, yeah. It's just this ridge. This okay. ridge line, like a 5k's inland, just a piece of land, this bit snapped off. From India? From India, that as the two continents so passed each other. <laughs> That's why it is magic. It's got exactly. nothing to do with Australia, this is because of India. It's the India. That is right. The India. <laughs> and that's why you're speaking like an Indian. <laughs> you're friend. feeling the energy. I am feeling every energy here from India. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. Did those tools work the other day? I got so far, but then I ended up coming in with a smaller spade bit that I had originally, and I just went like in a circle like that to curve it out. Yep. And well, I've got spade bits now. I know, but originally I used the wrong <laughs> measurement. It's yeah, but I've got small. I've got other different size ones. But how do you when you get the bigger one? Because there's a hole there in the wood. It's got nothing to center on. You know what I'm saying? So you have the side bits that try to go in the hole and doesn't. Uh, you need to put like a bit of wood in there first, yes. That's what got me, so I, had, I just went in and did it out like this slowly. Did it work? Yes, it did. So it's done? It's done. Oh you right. just have to get the door locked to fit into the side door part. The little thing that comes out, I don't know what you call it. So on Monday, I picked up a few more tools, and now I have spade bits that go from 10 mil. Well, I've got that massive one. 10 mil to about that wide. 22, 24? Yeah, something like that. My friend, next time I'm doing a door, I will come to you. Yeah. Well, I, I've, I've only got about a third of my tools here yet, so far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is a lot of tools. Yeah. What are you doing for these tools? You used to be a mechanic? Mate, I always look at a problem. I need the tools. I'll go and buy them. Beautiful. Even, even with mechanical sort of stuff. I'll, I'll, yeah. Like, so, sometimes I don't know what's wrong with my car. So I'll take it to the mechanic and say, all right, I'll come back to you. They tell me exactly what's wrong. I get on eBay, buy the tools, fix Beautiful. it myself. That's what we want. Mm. You know? mm. That's what we need. And, and like, the, about the only thing that I cannot repair because I can't buy the gas is refrigeration. I, I, I can turn my hand at anything else and I've got the tools to do it. Very good. But I'm only just like, you know, there's, there's other things I want to bring back to my camp as well. Yeah. That's beautiful. I think if we all work on each other's stuff like this and yeah. get to know how to work something out. When yeah. I was in Frio, my head blew up and I needed to get a new head for my van. Oh, I can't do that. So I had to get a socket wrench yeah. and another spanner and that was it. With yeah. them two tools, I could redo the whole head. Yeah. Very good. 
Very, very good. It took me three days. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm the uh, camera guy. Hello, camera guy. How are you doing? <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> Don't do it at my head. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do it at my shorts, mate. <laughs> it's Come so on. funny. Yeah. Do it at my shorts, mate. There we go. Look at those legs. Jesus. Jesus. Look at that butt cheek. Oh my god, my god. friend. This is not the right... Jeez. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> In my country you get shot for that? <laughs> Classic. I can't believe what he just did. I know. He likes to show his butt. Okay, I have to go get some water. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jules. No worries. Thank you for having me. Uh, who knows what's going to happen on this podcast? This is a beautiful thing, is having that ability for people to just sit down and join. We've got, uh, we've got the dark crystal going on in the corner. You see that? We've got our projector. I've been sitting there for so long where we actually haven't utilised it, so it's kind of cool to have the dark crystal playing in the background. So... <laughs> Yeah. Sorry to interrupt again. Oh no. I just need to go for a piss. Okay, so my next sort of mission down to my shed mm. will be to get some speakers for that proper. Yeah, it's awesome. a nice stereo. It's a nice LG stereo. Wow, amazing. Um, I might even have that in my tent. Mm. All right. Mm. And that little system I've got down there, you know, mm. and the two little speakers in the base. Mm -hmm. That'd be perfect for that. Yeah, nice, nice. All right. Because you can direct the sound just by turning the speakers in or a little bit, so mm -hmm. it just comes to the audience there and doesn't come so much over here. Yeah, that's what you want, just okay. to keep that sound in the corner of the bar. Yeah. yeah. So, um, awesome. That'd be great. I might, I might even. That's. I might even do that tomorrow. I'll go. go cool. I'll put that twenty in. You give me. Yep. And. Uh, I'll go with that cigarette. I'll put some extra fuel in my oh. car. And. Um, yeah, I'll go down and get that stereo. Oh yeah. And some other lo lighting equipment, so we yeah. can. Um, yeah. I've, I've got those uh, two LED floodlights. Yep. That would be great just to point on the stage. Yeah, as you long know, as they're not uh, like those well, LEDs, well, got, pretty no, ugly. Th these LEDs. See these are, ones here. The so LEDs I've got are like a dimmable. Oh, okay. And I have More dimming quality. switches. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. I have about uh, 30 or 40 dimming, sw dimming switches that were labelled wrong. The electronics shop threw them in the bin. Wow. And yeah. they work on LEDs. Yeah. And I've, that, that's where these uh, light bulbs that I gave you, that I, that they're all dimmable yep. as well. Okay. You know? Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. And I just put in a note, I want to get a uh, speaker system for the dome. Yeah. Like a, a, a better one. Yeah, yeah. like a seven point one. Yeah. And we set it up on the roof. Yeah. All the speakers all around. Yeah. Well, down. my one's okay for the meantime, but yeah. But yes, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Absolutely, it'd be better to have something up there. Mm. Yeah, right. I think that would the sound would be because you just want crisp sound. Yeah. Yeah. In there, yeah. you don't need loud, loud music. Unless I'm at the booth. Ah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Oh, good, he's got something for the kids to look at. Oh, yeah, the kids are watching it now? Yeah, instead of that stupid cartoon with all the swearing. And yeah, shit. that's like, true. That like, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's these when things like that happen. It's like important that we step yeah, we up. Pull it up so straight away. Yeah, yeah. totally. Because yeah. otherwise, yeah, otherwise as you say, everyone would have left the barn. Yeah, and and he would and, and um, Mitch. Yeah, he wouldn't have known. No, that's true. But if you pull someone up, yeah. then they know. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. There's some amazing movies we could play. Yeah. So I've got, I've probably got a thousand movies on my hard drive here. I used to collect them. I used to go to the DVD shop, hire the best movies, and then I'd burn them. Yep. So I just started building up that collection. So, so what, it, what sort of hard drive do you have? Is it internal or external? It's a terabyte, just the external. External? Yeah. It's actually at the house at the moment. but I have, a, I've got hard drive readers. Oh yeah. Okay. How do they work? 
Uh, well, it's just a hard drive. You plug it into the Spox, mm. and then um, I'll just bypass everything. Ah, right. Through through uh, several, 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 on a, yeah. on hard drives. Yeah. There's a lot, like, pe- people throw their computers away and stuff and laptops, yep. and they think that they've wiped the drive. Yep. But they haven't, haven't actually. Yeah, it's, it's all still there. It, it is still there, and you can recover it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. Um, and so I can do that with my mm. hard drive. Right. Drives, yeah. yeah, right. Okay, because yeah. I've got a few hard drives getting around that I, I know I've got lots of information on, but I haven't tried to access them yet. So. Yeah, well, if, if they're protected with the password, with yeah. my readers, I can bypass the password. Wow, it's okay. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, nice. My, step, my stepfather was one of the founders of IINet. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, he, he so it's in the genes, a bit of tech. Yeah, I, I know how to get through computers. Right. Oh, that's cool. Past passwords. Yep. Apple, Apple is fucking impossible. Yeah. Windows, even now, you, know, you can have the latest Windows and best password protection, but there's ways to get through it. Yeah, okay. You don't have to be a hacker. No. All you've got to do, well, is, you've got to do is Google it, mate. You know, I've got a... Uh, I've got all a you've got to do is Google it. So I have a laptop from yeah. work, yeah. my old work. They didn't ever ask for it back. Yeah. But I can't get into it because it's got a password. Okay, well... We'll But it's a Dell... Full, full. Uh, yeah, but it's Windows, power. not Apple. No, it's Windows. Yeah. So you'd be able so, to crack so it. You, so you just take the hard drive out. Yeah. Put it into my reader. Yeah. And off you go. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but can you use the laptop? No. You can't, like, f- uh, wipe that pat the requirement for a password for it to turn on. Um, you, usually your password in laptop so is contained in the BIOS. Yep. Which, yep. is, uh, which is which uh, is got little chips in your, in your memory on your circuit board there. It's not stored in your hard drive. Yep. It's a program into a, a, a pretty hard. To get hard to get past. Yeah. yeah those are particularly hard to get. Like HP HP laptops. Yep. I like them. Yep. Yeah. This is very, a HP. They are very easy to get to. Oh. Uh, well, this is HP. Be this worth. one here. No, this is a Chromebook. These are like two hundred dollar laptop. It's yeah. been best laptop I've ever bought. Yeah, I, I got an <coughs> HP when I nearly cut my leg off. How do you so tell me how you cut your leg off, Eli? Well, I was high on meth. Oh right. I'd been drinking a bit of alcohol. Yep. There's a tree outside my house. Yeah. I thought it'd be good fucking firewood. Yeah. Got the circular saw out. Yeah. The cunt didn't want to be chopped down. Spat the saw out and up my leg. Whoa. Cut through my femur, through my Whoa. kneecap, cut that main muscle off down the inside of your leg. What the fuck? It was only like millimetres away from the main artery. Whoa. It was like... You didn't cut open. the artery though? No. Yeah, wow. But it was pretty fucking messy, man. Whoa. Oh, yeah. And it happened in a split <laughs> instant? Yeah. yeah. So Soon you just it turned it on and went... And, it, and it just ran... Straight back at me. You know what I learnt from that? <laughs> Keep your knee away from behind the saw. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and don't do it. Don't cut shit on meth and alcohol. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's that's because that I, I, if I, you I, cut that artery, that's that's yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. But um, yeah, there wouldn't have been no stopping it. I wouldn't be dead. No. Well, supposedly, uh, supposedly when you cut it, it retracts. And it's very hard yeah. to connect it back up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah, anyway. it, 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 But that didn't happen. Yeah. I, I learned a few lessons of it. Yeah, please share um, your wisdom. Well, the circle is sore. Yeah. I kept it for a while. Yeah. The girl that I was living with didn't want to put it away. Yeah. She's very upset about all the blood that was left over. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Be careful about circle sores. Chainsaws, anything saw, anything's got the word saw in it, you've got to be careful of. Even a fucking normal hand saw. Yeah. Because my, my hand saw, like, it's, it's a good quality one. Yeah. There's no rust on it at all. Yeah. I always have that plastic cover on it. Yeah. The flip that covers the blade. Right. Man, if you if you pull back and your little fingers are in the way, yeah. fuck it, it's a nasty cut. Yeah, yeah. I, but I it's still sharp as 
I cut my finger, this scar here, just last month on the chainsaw. Because oh, I was um, undoing the nuts. Yeah. When it was running? No, 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 it was off. <laughs> but the nuts were really tight and I, it slipped, and the spanner slipped, and my hand went and just straight into the blade. Well, that's what I always wear those guys. That's what, usually when I'm doing anything yeah. at all, yeah. other than wanking, <laughs> I wear a glove. I wear gloves. Like yeah. I've got those good quality gloves. I've got other gloves in my car for when we do the turn out the toilets. Like yeah. Whoever helps me, it's like here. Go a pair of gloves here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it doesn't keep the germs off your fingers, but it keeps your actual fingers from touching the sure. mucky. Yep. And then uh, I can just wash the gloves and you can wash your hands. Yeah. Well, what? what this this little Indian man round here. Well, he's back. The I man his, from I, from I Bombay. His name's Mario or something. <laughs> Mario from in India. My <laughs> weirdo. My, my friend, my name is Solinda. <laughs> Solinda. Solinda Bangado. <laughs> Bangado. I hey, like it. Hey, I've it. got my good 200 watt um, solder iron down at my tent now too if you need to do any electronic sort of work. I've got all sorts of heat shrink. I've got all electronic tools. Thank you, I've my got, friend. Um, I've got like uh, the proper meters. That is very kind of you. Actually, no, I didn't bring my... I might have a meter there. No, I haven't got my, my meters. So I'm going to go down to my storage tomorrow. Bring back some stuff. You're good with lighting. Yes, yes, my friend. So um, I'm going to bring back back some uh, lighting sort of stuff. Beautiful. Oh, we want to set this. If you got some lighting for this, we just need. I reckon we'll hang on from the roof. Just point them down. If you've got a couple of spares. Well, I'm just going to bring back all my electronic stuff tomorrow. Mm. Um, bring back a decent stereo from the tent because that's not loud enough and that one can come in here for the cine cinema screen because mm. it's got a good little base on it it's just one of those LG computer things Beautiful. so that can go there and then the thousand watt um, stereo can go in my tent <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's not a good idea my friends what were you guys talking about before I come here uh, oh he cut his just leg like. off almost cut his leg off and oh, died a year I ago that, yeah. Yeah, I showed you the picture didn't you I did. Yeah, yeah it looks nice, eh? Oh, beautiful. Just I like, can a, put like it in a my couple curry. of lips kissing. <laughs> I can put it in my curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saying anything with a saw, with sore in the name is dangerous, and we have to, you've got to be careful. And he, you can't be on meth and drunk no trying to friend. cut and shit. Yeah, trying to, trying to cut down a live tree <laughs> because <laughs> I thought I didn't... It didn't with a circular the, saw. With a circular saw. <laughs> <laughs> what did, the, what did the, um, the hospital say when they saw you? They just laughed well, at you. Well, at the time, <laughs> at, at the time, I had a pair of hot pink uh, booty shorts on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and they were more distracted by the booty shorts than the cut. <laughs> <laughs> I've got pictures to prove it. Hot pink. <laughs> I love it. I'll wear the shorts tomorrow if you want. I've still got them. <laughs> nice. Nice. They were, they were actually have quite they got blood on them? No. But they were quite happy because they didn't have to cut anything off me. And these are way too small to cut off anywhere anyway. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I've so still got them in my tent. They're, they're looking at these uh, st stereo systems for the for the dough. But that's eighty bucks. But you've got. Mm, don't worry about that, my friend. Are you looking into it? I am looking. Into all right, sweet. <laughs> well, well, all, all I've got is some some basic lighting. So I've got I've got dim, dimming switches. But look at that. Brand new in the box. Yeah. And um, but so, like sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's just five Pioneer amplifier, five speakers, and a woofer. That Two, will do the job. 250 bucks. That will do the job. Yeah, you just. What I am have to do for the dome, because it's a round environment <laughs> like this, everybody's mm. around. In the middle, you put a wooden post, and yeah. then you can mount the speakers yeah. in yeah. different from ways the center. around from the center. Wow. Yeah, Any better. venue you go to with a round thing, like a skating rink, the lights and the speakers mm. always in the middle. All on the post. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be cool. So Come that's, on. that's what we're going to do. Awesome. We're going to build a pole with any speakers on it. It's yeah. going to be good. Yeah, yeah, nice. Because well, you can just run a scaffold pole down. Whatever you want. And then Wooden have pole, scaffold. Po little poles hanging off it. Whatever you can use to mount speakers onto. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've got a couple of, put in here, I've got a couple, uh, pair of, uh, it's, like, it's like security light. But you can take, take the uh, security bit off, and there's two light, outside light things to do. 
I've got LED dimmer bulbs in there, floodlights, plus I've got the dimming switch. So if something's shot down instead of the stage being in dark, then you can like just point them in, dim it or turn it up. So, something in the meantime until we get something better. Mm. That works. Like, like I've, I've got temporary fixes. Mm. Until we get something better. Yeah, exactly. That's this whole but, place is a temporary fix. Yeah, <laughs> like, like my big speakers. Until, until we, we get, get something until better. Until we get better speakers here, yep. and then my big speakers can be put away yep. for when the time is right. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. What are you, look at this one. That's, that must be a seven point one Sony sound system, thousand watt. That's even better. Yeah. yeah. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speakers. Sure. So yeah, the home theatre like systems that. have come down a lot in price. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to swap? There's a new wave of um, speakers coming out now. Yeah. yeah, and they're really good. Do you want to swap? Really yeah. yeah. They're not short enough. So yeah, you can get a good system. <laughs> it's like this one. I mean, How they're big, but go? that's big old speakers, but still 7.4 channel. Is it 350? You could tell them down at 280, I reckon. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, like, in the dome, don't you think um, just a, a stereo system Look at that. would be better? That's yeah, but they're not really hangable. Yeah, no, I reckon they can hang them all. Yeah. 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 yeah, I reckon you could hang them all. Sure. I've got screws. And yeah. you've got tools, I've got drills, yeah. and yeah. we're sorted. Yeah. That's it, we'll work it out. We'll definitely work it out. <laughs> I'm your man for improv construction. But look at the fucking amount of speakers. That would have been a four thousand dollar system at one point. Mm. You know? mm. Two thousand maybe. Two thousand? Yeah. But still All of my stuff is free. So that's got seven speakers and four subwoofers. Four subwoofers. Yeah. That's alright. Oh, right. Yeah. They said you'd put the subs along the outside picture. of the dome and you'd have all the woofers and the tweeters in the centre. Yeah. yeah. Let me send you a message. But one, one of the better things that I've ever done with my speakers is we dug a hole. And put the speakers in the beach or up in Perth. Oh, yeah. In Sorrento. Yeah. They just take a big hole and sink a couple of big drums, plastic drums in there, put my yeah. speakers, put a lid on top, cover it up with sand. We boofed along all night long. It was great. <laughs> just from the vibe, because the sound does come through, yeah, yeah. but it's better in your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, do you reckon that'd be. Worth. Yeah. It's got an amp as well. What's the detail? Can you message him asking? Has it got Bluetooth? What's the connectivity to? Yeah. Yeah. How, can, yeah, how do you? Well, well, we can always yeah. connect it up by Bluetooth. It's probably HDMI or. Yeah. Well, can you do no, get these little me. Bluetooth converters now? Yeah. That will go from an old system to create. Yeah. Well, well, link it. Well, the Bluetooth up in the sh uh, up on the out. dome. Mm. <laughs> They're operating my speakers from 1997, mm. connecting to anything modern. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. there a set up, a system that? Yeah, well, that's what I've got set up in the dome now. I've yeah. got the speakers turned down to a quarter, so they won't get too mm. loud, mm. and it's just connected to a Bluetooth device. Oh, right. And the people who are using it we'll just know what to do. Straight linked up to the Bluetooth. Oh, yeah. you've got the device. Yeah. Great. So everything's just pushed away in the walls. Yep. And you just start. Uh, yeah. There's no wires hanging around everywhere. Yeah, right. Uh, cool. I'll ask you. Good to see you, Jules. It's good to see you too. Yeah, I, could, I, 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 did, I didn't want to come see you at the circus because I just couldn't be bothered. I was too busy doing yeah, my right. own shit. That's fine. Yeah. Man, I've been having some downtime since I've been back. I haven't, they haven't seen me around much. Mm. I've just been showing out. Mm. Netted that after the circus. Mm. Some downtime now. Yeah. Did the guys, did some of those guys left today? Where the or fuck did that Indian guy go to? They're all gone. <laughs> Where are they headed? <laughs> Alexandria Bridge, and then some, Bruce is going back up to Perth. Oh yeah. He's going to do some work on some coaster buses. Yeah, nice. And then yeah, he hopes to come back down at some point. Yeah, cool. We're going to yep. produce in the city. Yep. Oh yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Al Alexandria Bridge is good. It is. My but, um, my but, uh, uh, well, I've lived there a couple of times. Yeah. Have you but jumped off the bridge? No, I don't do shit like that. Yeah, it's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do mental shit like that anymore. I'm past my dangerous shit. Do you know Turpins Falls in Victoria? It's up no. near Mount Macedon. No. Well, anyway, it's a 20 metre jump from the cliff there into the water. Yeah. And I jumped off that when I was 19 and that was fucking 
fucking hectic. Like, I didn't even think about it. I just jumped off. And then I realised how high I was when I started falling. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. Yeah. And I cut my feet hitting the water. Yeah. I was alright. It was great. I got up and it was like the best feeling in the world. Mm. And then I found out afterwards like 10 people had been airlifted out of there because of the same thing. Because of the height. I was lucky, yeah. Well, well was... honestly, Jules, <laughs> jumping off shit, yeah, I'd rather your missus fucks yeah. and got me on the leg again. I get much more enjoyment you, from friend. that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't enjoy jumping off bridges? Nah, I don't mind a bit of pain. <laughs> but, nah. Not on the soles of your feet. No, I don't do danger anymore. Yeah. Not after a circular saw. I'm very careful. Mm. I even drive 20 kilometres slower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since that. Since that. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Because you were saying that you, um, as a kid, you used to ride trains? Yeah, in Melbourne, before the tra- before the trams come along. Yeah. In Melbourne, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll surf them. <laughs> and then um, ev- even on the Clarkson line, from Currambine to Clarkson, I was at Clarkson train station. Backpack strapped around my back properly, and fucking just as the doors were about to close, I fucking threw my bag in and rode from fucking like Currambine to Clarkson Station on the outside of the train. <laughs> when I got there, they wouldn't release the doors until I was surrounded by fucking railway cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so got in fucking serious trouble. My friend, one time I'm driving the train, right? At the same time, I am serving people pizza at the train station, and this bloody idiot come and attack me, and I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just chill out, my friend. I've got a friend called Shorts, and he's got all the tools. Don't mess with me. You don't know who I know. Wow. So you hung on. Did you feel like you were going to Didn't have fall? to hang on. Why? Because the backpack was on the inside of the train. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was just on the outside. I get it. That's great. Right. Yeah. yeah. I used to train surf when I was in high school. We used to go on top of the train. Was that in Victoria The Belgrave well? line. And we used to do it from Heathman Station all the way up to Box Hill. Just train surf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done yeah. that in the early 90s. It was yeah. about 92, I think. Yeah. That's when all the gangsters yeah, were getting around Ringwood. Yeah, yeah, that was a hectic time to be. Yeah, yeah back right. That time in the nineties around that area. Yeah. All Ringwood was like gangsters and yeah. jailbirds. Yeah, well, we, and we lived we lived up in uh, Marysville. Oh yeah. 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 That's nice. Yeah, ma- that's ma- beautiful up there. Yeah, it was. Have you been to Wild Horses Festival? No. That's up in Marysville. That's a good scene. Yeah. I went to Bindoon. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Marysville. I love Victoria? it there. Was Bindoon Victoria or here? I'm not sure. Bindoon. Oh, Bindoon's Bindoon. here. Bindoon. Here. Is it? Sounds like Victoria, doesn't it? Bindoon. That's the name. Yeah, of no, I, I went to a here. couple of biking sh- shows down in. Um, I thought it was Bindoon there. Bindoon, Western Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. There's another Near one. Jin Jin. I, went, I went to them them ones a couple of times. Mm. They were exciting. So mm. my That's the uh, farmers sort of catch up. The what did they call no, them? The B- Bindoon was by bi- oh. bikey rally. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Like a big show. We've got music, uh, no, no, it's a music festival coming up in March. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to that. That's a really good weekend. Mm. You're gonna Celebra- come your celebration of when the mushrooms start to grow soon. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're still a ways away. Another no, six not months. That far. Not in six, enough, no. no, it's not six months. April's no. only four Fuck. months away, mate. Yeah. I don't want to think about Before it. Before you know it, my friend, it will be, be winter, winter time, there will not be oh, many people, yeah. everybody going to be hanging out. This yeah. time we've got an app. We might be very busy, you never know. In winter? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, winter's not too bad, as long as you're set up right. It's yeah. quite, if you've got fire and you've got heaps of wood yeah. and, you know, everything's sealed up, it's pretty comfortable. Last comfort. winter, me and Amy ended up, like, sleeping by the fire here every single night for, right. like, a couple of weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this time we've got more fire. Bigger, more wood. We'll have the crib more set up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to extend it. So so I won't need the air conditioner that's in my tent? Probably Everyone not. Everyone else wakes up hot in their tent. Yeah. I've just got the air con on. That's all right. I'll run out early, start up Jenny, run the air con in the tent and just wake. And that's why sometimes I sleep for lunch. You run the air con? Off my Jenny, yeah. yeah. He's sorted, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's, uh, then I've that's got a, I've got next a, level. Then I've got a set of ceramic. Glamping. Yeah, I'm glamping, mate. Glamping, you're glamping. glamping. I'm living. And, that's yeah. it, mate, and then I've got a, then I've got low wattage but high at, high um, heat output ceramic heater. My friend, I am sorry because you're not gonna have rainbow. You know why? Because <laughs> you don't experience any <laughs> rain, my friend. I do. I wear white, what cotton, thin, 
What? And a black G-string. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Big rainbow. It's all see-through, but I'm covered. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Mm. Hey, oh, oh, if anybody wants to... Uh, anybody wants to lose any hair off their face or um, ass or anywhere, I've got the. Uh, I've, I've bought this time. I've bought back my uh, electrolysis set. Yeah. It fires you with high energy uh, laser and uh, <laughs> a little bit of heat there, yeah, right. and just burns your fucking hair out by the vol follicles. Yeah right. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's do it. Do it to your fucking pubic area yeah. for like three months. That's gone. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about it for nearly two years but after. What about when it's hot? And then when it comes back, it's just like fluffy little pubic hair. Baby hair. What about when you run summertime? Like when you're like 13, like your first hair. pubes are coming through and they're all nice and soft, that's what it comes through. But the so I've got the machine in my, in my uh, tent now. Oh, okay. The girls might be coming for that. Yeah, you could set up a little Come studio. Come and get rid of that little Indian moustache of yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got such a thick moustache, it's going to take 10 times laser, right? Yeah, well, I, I was doing it to the sides of my face. Yeah, so, because I don't like shaving up there. This is a great podcast, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> Mindful Earth, we're learning, season two. We're learning many things. Bo Show, come on down to yeah. get your free laser hair <laughs> removal treatment from That's the right. one and only shorts. Yeah. yeah. And get serenaded by the Indian Jesus at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> come on down, my friend. It is a good time here. I'm telling you. Yeah, come down to Tent City. That's what I'd like. Uh, I'd need a sign built up for Tent City. Oh, yeah. There's a company that does Wood Woodford Folk Festival called Tent City. So you might have to call it something a bit different. Like maybe Tent Your City. No. <laughs> He's dressed up in a wedding gown. <laughs> <laughs> She wears it well. That's nice, yeah. Yeah. Get a go. Mm. All right, so why are we doing this podcast? Uh, we want to show the uh, the way that we live in at Mindful Earth, how we uh, commune together in our in the barn, and the people that are staying with us. They like share their stories and their wisdom and their, their basically their experiences in life. And then also to share their experiences here and, and what they what they see is benefits of living here as opposed to the the, the other world where we're living in this like you know, small little boxes and Coming here, where you've got one big communal room, as you can see, we've got TV, <laughs> got a movie in the background, we've got our podcast studio here, we've got our kitchen here, it's all open plan. And then we've got uh, some uh, got outdoor area as well. And the plan is to just continue building spaces that accommodate all the different types of people that live here. So that will be going into the idea of having different uh, communal areas for different types of people. So now we're looking at, we've started building a central space, central communing area, and, the, and we'll be building little clans or little community spaces all the way around that central space. And this is to as a demonstration as to how we rebuild tribes again. So looking at the past and how the, the tribes were built, we actually separated people into their little clans rather than one big tribe, one big city. The little clans we used to allow people of a particular interest to live together. And that allowed it sort of took away from the distraction of living with many people. You could really just focus on, you could really just focus on the living with the people that you you have a lot of interest with. So you see that I've seen that here with the musicians. The musicians are very much uh, like to live and and be together because they're always sharing different skills, like different ways to play. 
uh, they play <laughs> together. So it's like really encourages creation, creativity of these of musicians. And someone might have a different instrument, so someone picks that up, and then they start to learn new instruments. It's there's this creative spark that happens when you bring like minded like type people into the, in one living space so i believe this is how they did they managed to create a a more perfect system than the system we have at the moment which is we all live together in the one space and that and now like it's because we're all living together in one space what happens is people don't feel comfortable everyone's at different vibrations so what happens is we we just naturally because you're not feeling it you're not it's not vibing with you it's not you're not feeling comfortable you're talking to people that maybe don't get you so you in this communal space you no longer want to go to the communal space so then you eventually just go back to your camp and hang out in your camp and you you end up not talking to anybody and this i think this is the natural evolution of what's happened in in our societies is we've realized that we don't really gel or vibe with anybody and then and then we've realized that okay by not i don't really like anyone because i'm not vi- i'm not being around my people and then we just we just isolate ourselves because it's easier to be uh, to isolate than actually make the effort to connect with people and that's that is is the result of the system that we're living in i feel where if we we create these uh clans or villages that are dedicated to given given skill sets of people everyone vibes and everyone wants to be around the communal space because there's there's people of all uh, skills, all all different types of wisdom that they can share, and that is the natural way. And so, yeah, we're going to bring that back to Mindful Earth. We're creating this central communal space, which will have ceremonies and we'll have uh, celebrations. We'll have communal meals. It'll also be like a com- central shrine, and it'll have a studio as well. Can, can hey. I say something? Yeah, of course. Please jump in. I'm, I'm along the same lines as Bo, but some people. I'm I'm a bit old school. Like back in the day, someone wanted to help with their car, mm. so I, yeah, man, I'll come in and help you with the car. Mm. Now, modern life, man, can you come and help me with my car? Mm. Oh yeah, I'll do it for six pack. Or, yeah, or make sure you buy a carton or something. Mm. Whereas I'm not like that. Mm. I don't mind helping people here Mm. because it's a community thing to do. I don't need payment. Mm -hmm. Just a smile Mm. is good enough because I know it will come back around. Exactly. And I'm I'm trying to help build something, not with the cost of money. Mm. Just, well, what the hell else am I going to do? I mean, what am I going to do? Sit in my tent and watch TV? (laughs) Get out and help for free? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a lot, lot of reward mm-hmm. for helping people without reward. Mm. Mm. A smile, a mm. thank you, full. Mm. Yeah. And you get talked about. Mm. Yeah, uh, and and it comes back to you. The, what yeah. do they say? Give, yeah. give it, and it will be re- you will receive a thousand times. Yeah. Like just by that, I think that's a secret rule of the universe. Well, and maybe we it's we not don't secret. We don't need, if we're going to live as clans, yeah, we don't need money well i we, we I need disagree. money but we don't need to be paid to, to do things with the no. plan yeah that's right yeah yeah because no it, i think you have to have a it's like a donation based system yeah. so if if you don't have any money yeah and someone's cooking dinner yeah like it's just okay that p- they cook it for you and it's a gift in a way yeah, yeah. but you will re- like whether you return the favor or not whether I mean, it's in cooking or, yeah. or helping them build the tent mm. properly. Mm. But I, I do like the idea of if it's possible, if someone's got a bit of extra money, they do tip or donate some funds to that the chef or the person doing yoga. Yeah. And yeah. so it makes it, there's more um, incentive 
yeah, for the yeah. yoga teacher. Until we build our own state and have and try to print your own money. Well, we, yeah, we're going to create our own cryptocurrency. Well, it's all, all in the plan, and it's going to be called the Teo. <laughs> we can melt little lead coins. Yeah, covered <laughs> with nickel. <laughs> Is it? And have our own currency. Yeah, yeah. We, but you could also do it where you don't even have. Cur- it's just like electronic, just transfer. And it's just, but you've got your own currency that you control. That's to me. That's the future. You have your own Bitcoin, c- like uh, crypto coin, with your own blockchain. You have your own servers that run it. It's all totally isolated from the system. But, but then, what happens if we get cut off? With it? What what happens if there's a natural disaster and you're cut out from the? Or el- like what if there's a big solar flare? Yeah. And then it cuts out everything electronic. Yeah, so you have to design, build it so it underground or so because uh, if it's your you currency, can't. hey, uh, does that does that underground stop neutron no. bombs? No. Must. No, the sun is a lot more powerful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a good day. Oh, amazing. Photos, yeah. Having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon the three undercover models. Oh, I have no doubt. I should, we should really. Do you want to take some photos? Because I, you'd be, because it, that'd be quite fun. Here, take some photos of them. You're good to do that? Yeah. We've got three beautiful women all dressed in, in white wedding dresses can you see <laughs> yeah and shorts is going to go take some photos of them i should have probably went and taken but anyway <laughs> i get scared sometimes or oh, lazy one of the two <laughs> or baby both yeah so i forgot what the point was we were talking about oh cryptocurrency yeah so having like currency is just currency. It's it's a form of transferring a uh, good. Oh, what would you call it? Energy. So I grow a whole heap of oranges. I convert that those oranges into a energy form, which is our currency, the Teo. And then we uh, then we someone wants to buy some potatoes. And maybe they didn't want oranges, so that's why you need to have a currency. And I feel that with a cryptocurrency, you can really utilize the technologies to say, uh, to make it very easy. You could probably just have a little a card that be, is able to transfer funds to someone else's card. So they have a someone, a yoga teacher in the morning, they've got their little card that they, some sort of electronic reader. Someone comes into class, there's a recommended $10 per class, 10 Teos. So you get those, someone just scans the reader and it transfers off their little card, their little bank account. And it's by donation based. So if you don't have the money, then you don't have to pay. But if you've got lots of money, then maybe you pay twice as much for the class. Maybe you really enjoy the class. Uh, yeah, so it's like this, it's in a form, it's, it's type of honor system. Oh, it's, it's on, uh, the YouTube, YouTube, like Mindfulness Sanctuary. Yeah, I love, it. I didn't know there was three wedding dresses here. You found it, it's amazing. So, so fun, yeah. So many interesting objects, just like roller skates. Yeah. Yeah. We can have a, and there's, in that little drawer there, in that box, there's like uh, uh, circus things as well, yeah. you can spin around. No way, we're yeah. all about the festivals. Ah, so nice. Yeah. 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 That's Some s- juggling balls and. Nice, thank you. But that's, that's the idea of this place, is to create like a circus, yeah. where people uh-huh. can just explore exactly. different things. Uh-huh. Yeah, to me, it's like, why don't we do that? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Indeed. So and it's everyone's just like enjoying it, obviously. So. That's right. Yeah, so we have wedding dresses for people to Do try. You want to <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to join the podcast? Yeah, yeah okay. uh, sure. I'm not What's sure. that? Yeah. The podcast? Yeah. No, I, I think that'd be... I, I think I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> My English is not even that great, so... Yeah. Subscribe? Yeah. That's it, Mindfulness Sanctuary. 
Yeah. And look, look live. <laughs> and that's. Oh. Yeah. So this camera. Okay. And then, oh yeah. So I'm not even like. There you go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Where's the camera? Just here. This oh, hello. One. <laughs> that's, that's the screen there. That's so I'm just seeing if it works. Live. It says it's live. Oh, there you go. Look. Yes. It's <laughs> Wait, How cool is that? Wow. Just here. Yeah. It's fun. Amazing. It's <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oh, no. Technology. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, it's me. It's such a show. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But I can go actually back here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what yeah, that's can, beforehand. Can so we go all the way yeah. to the end. It's the live bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Ah. You do it every day? Yeah, try it. Wow. Every night. Yeah. That's so cool. Amazing. Yeah, just talk, Woo! Talking, talking about start. community. <laughs> I know, maybe uh, <laughs> just before Christmas we started doing wow. it. Wow, okay, so that's very fresh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it's, like it's good. One is watching. It's yeah. good just to, one is watching this you. to yeah. learn to speak about yeah. what you want. Like, you just talking you about yeah. it is powerful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just you get better camera. at it, right. which is oh, important. Awesome. And yeah. I think you manifest it like when you mm -hmm. talk it. So yeah, just that's what we're doing, just yeah. talking about so it. Good. Yeah, yeah. So wait, wait, what are you guys talking about? Or uh, how to change the world is the podcast. How to change the world? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like about building communities and then building tribes and yeah. coming together as how we used Everybody to be. Everybody needs some pride in a tribe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, really. Right? Yeah. There are a lot of yeah, communities it's... around the Byron Bay now. Okay, mm -hmm. they're all starting up a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and then I think we need to expand them even to bigger, mm -hmm. not just 50 people, but like a thousand, yeah. two thousand. Yeah. Start bringing, being fully sustainable. So yeah, you because farming, you, know, you can build houses. You house, you can build houses. Yeah, you do everything. Do barter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like working out how to do that. How do we actually do it? I know. Do I have one friend like who does working on this project in mm. uh, Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. He's built in a community and he's building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like having a sustainable. They are like, yeah. like yeah. vegan food. They cooking yeah. all together, like building houses and everything. Yeah. 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 And that's this is what's yeah. happening. It's like we're all yeah. being drawn to that now. We really want to. You see how amazing it is to live with each other. You know, yeah, that's right. Just yeah. talking to new people and, and we grow exactly. really fast. Yeah. yeah. Nice balance. Yeah. 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 Is it like birthday cake people have um, <laughs> birthday, birthday, birthday cake? Birthday cake. Oh, birthday yeah. cake. <laughs> Love some birthday cake. Is it the coconut? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're, I'm so glad you're at the Mana Fiesta. <laughs> at the what? Mana Fiesta. Mana Fiesta? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. yeah. Have mm. you guys seen the book? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys something. I haven't had uh, sweets in like mm. six weeks. Wow. Cut out everything, like processed mm. food. So this is the third mm. thing. Mm. Wow. That's yeah. a special. And you're in a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the book. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's so nice. Mm. So you just see everybody here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a sustainable people community here. somewhere in Queensland. Or maybe yeah. Northern New South Wales. Mm. Prem stock? Prem Sorry? Is it Prem yeah. stock? Prem? Might be. Yeah, I haven't been there, but mm -hmm. a few people have talked about it. Uh huh. Yeah. So. My friend just moved there. Name up here? Yeah, cool. A few days ago. Oh wow. From Sunshine Coast. Yeah, right. And they're like very committed. They wanted to mm. start their own, like a spiritual healing mm. place in Mexico. Mm. But then COVID happened. They came mm. back here. You should tell them about here, because I will. Because that's oh, what we we want people mm -hmm. to come in on board and mm -hmm. start to like really dream mm -hmm. this place in, and it, yeah, the exactly. idea is that we, it's like creative community. Yeah. So we have studios where people can paint, mm -hmm. and build, and, and make, and that's all. right. And they're amazing people. I mean, like everyone's like looking up to them. Mm. And they are wow. In yeah. this position to actually really, you know, lead. Yeah. People yeah. And yeah. We need people like that here. Yeah. That's the like <laughs> we need this core mm -hmm. like str strength of people that are really yeah. inspiring, exactly. and then it sort of filters out from there. Hundred percent. And mm. you know, since I met them maybe like around let's say two mm. years ago, mm. 
even one time I would never hear them say something <laughs> bad or negative or about someone like right. you know, I'm like I really want to be like you yeah so they were already influencing that's and, right. and, that, and that's what happens when you're around those people it just rubs <laughs> off yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You or you seek kind of to vibe to that uh -huh. level. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so true. And it, you everyone starts to. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's how it. I think <laughs> like we grow the fastest <laughs> living with each other. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what wonderful. I've seen. Yeah, but you've got to set the right yeah. uh, vibration to start with. Yeah, and you've got to hold that. <laughs> That's right. Or aim to go higher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maintain. That's right. Yeah. And, and we've experienced, like, yeah, the last two years, it's been, like, yeah. high vibe and then yeah. drops. And then oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah, it's been, it's been all over the place. And, like, working out how to manage that has been interesting. Yeah. 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 That could be the challenge to, to be a yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I can imagine. Yeah, and having... And if, if the vibe starts to drop, what do you do? Do you kick people out or do you yeah. talk to them? Or That's right. Yeah. Because like you don't want to be the one. No. No, yeah. but, but that is really ultimately... <laughs> that's ultimately my role, is yeah. to make sure the harmony is there. Keeping the harmony. And so, like, I don't... Yeah, look at these guys. But yeah, otherwise everything just flows really well if you're in the right harmony and then I don't have to do anything. Exactly. Yeah, but as soon as it changes, then it's up to me to do something. Like, I don't know if before a guy put on a cartoon and it was a bit like lots of swearing. And yeah, and that's it, definitely... You know, there was just wasn't... I could feel it yeah. wasn't the vibe yeah. that I wanted to set. So I went and spoke to him and said, hey, this is not really yes. what we want. Yeah. Which is a bit uncomfortable, like it's not what I want to be telling people, but you've got to hold that vibration with your life. That's right, that's yeah. right. You do it, we do it with ourselves, mm -hmm. but the community is also, you need, you need to do it. And that's so you've so got to amazing. be quite tough, I, exactly. I think, yeah, yeah. which I'm learning. Because I'm, bef like for me, I'm more like just, yeah, everything, open, and just if they're here, then they're meant to be here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So amazing. Like mm. I don't even know what to say. Well, mm. thank you. I'm so glad that we actually found we, we were not even planning to come here. We didn't know that this place existed. We yeah. found you on the wiki camp. Wiki camp, cool. Wiki camp, yes, yes. We just like, oh, this looks good. Yeah. Just a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, that's, 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 that, that's where we're going. And then yeah. Yeah, we had troubles getting here as well because of our navigation, no signal and stuff. And then right, and then it's like, oh, you've persisted. This is such a little beautiful village, you mm. know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, amazing. Loving it, yeah. definitely. Um, I'll definitely let um, Ayla and Aaron know mm. these are those people. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I've even got here. Take some of these. Are you guys leaving tomorrow or you? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. And we these are our business cards. To. Thank you so much. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I usually have more of them and oh, I, uh -huh. I give them to people to s when they're on their travels okay. and then they, I ask them to ha put them in like little fun locations around on their travels. Okay, like sure. Like in, in a book or a... I'll take a photo of this for my friends and then mm. I leave mm. those. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, sweet. Journey will take us. Mm. I'll, f I'll get some more. I've got mm. more of them. That's very nice. Mm. I'm so sorry for interrupting. I know. <laughs> no, no. This is part of the uh -huh. podcast. Uh -huh. It's like people coming in and mm -hmm. and talking That's sharing their nice. stories and ideas yeah. and That's yeah it. and what they see about this place as well that's really important yeah you especially for your different perspectives yeah yeah right yeah but mm -hmm. generally it's the it's that people are blown away by it like yeah. but it's so normal mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the thing I it's like, well, how come we've got to that point where we don't see this as normal anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Each other. Yeah, our s this is a python python oh, skin. No way. I got yeah. in from oh. from just in Hamlin Bay. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. I always collect stuff like that. I've got King's Brown. Oh, wow. I found it in <coughs> like England, mm. inland, five hours. Wow. And you can see even the eyes and the mouth. Oh, cool. So it crawled out of the... Oh, it, 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 it shed it. Skin. Shed its yeah. skin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I wrapped it around my pot plant mm. in a rope. It mm. looks really cool. Mm. Yeah. 
big one as well, like mm. this one. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, I, th I see it like it, it's a gift from Mother Nature when you come across things like this. Yeah, I do shells, feathers, and oh, all the other things. Yes, yeah, so always friends collect mm. me as well. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, the feathers, feathers shells. shells. And Here you go. Here you go. I collect uh, <laughs> when I go running on the beach. Oh, yeah. It's a glass from Hamlin Bay. It's probably like. Is it like a stone? No, it's thing? glass from a glass bottle that, like, the fish. The oh. It's maybe a hundred years old. It's like all the sailing ships. Okay. They just throw their bottles overboard. And, and oh now all this glass way. washes up, like, all this. Oh, uh, you know? And you see it's all, like, weathered by the sand. You know what? Today we went to. What is it called? Jing. Jing. Natural spa. Mm. Okay. It's oh, it's north of Gracetown, is it? it? Starts with J. J. I. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but on the beach, I found that kind of a glass. I was like, yeah. is it a stone? I went yeah. to the girls and I was like, it looks like almost amber, but mm. I think it's a glass, mm. and it was all polished like that. If I knew. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. There's I, a I lot of. Keep it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you have that piece. No, that's for you. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You yeah. collect it. I can't take yeah, it. Yeah. No. No. I I collect and I'll pass Are you it sure? on. Yeah. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so amazing. Pleasure. I love it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh and my you God. can sorry. Because um, I've seen people make jewelry out of it, like they do sort of this type of thing. So do you reckon that would be like very old? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's been in Hamlin Bay like that. I'm sure there's picked up a, the energy yeah. of the place. That's so amazing because it's, do you think it's polished by the water? Yeah, and the sand, drifting? and just and rolling sand. in the sand. Yeah. Wow. I love it. Yeah. Thank oh, you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. I'll come back with the shell. Mm. I've collected so many for my friends. I'm okay. The house I'm staying at is my best friend's. Okay. And it's like 13 people living at the house. Yeah. So wow. I want to write their names on the bottom and just oh. like present each. I spend oh. like I spend nearly two hours just yeah. like selecting shells, yeah. but they're all very nice. And for the couples, yeah. I have like matching ones, but like reverse same shape but reverse colors, for example. Oh, oh I like it. So they, I think we, they should be. It's funny. We had a um, we had a a guy here just last week mm -hmm. who was painting rocks. Mm -hmm. Jeff, and he he wow. left these for he, he sat a whole week. We've got a little. Uh, Oh yeah. Just by the fence there. Okay. And he would sit there. It's really quite um, private. And you're looking at the at the trees oh, over the farm mm -hmm. So he didn't leave. Like he'd do this oh. one for me. That is beautiful. Yeah. I can't imagine how many hours he put in like each of so them. So much. Wow. Yeah. This is around those. Wow. This is for me. This one. So nice. Oh, this is from Wayne's World. So yeah, that's wow, pretty cool. He just really creative, huh? Yeah. And that's, he just took, you know, he takes pleasure in creating and mm. giving these gifts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't believe that I didn't keep that glass because I didn't <laughs> realize. I was like, yeah. oh, whatever, if it's a glass, it's a glass, but I didn't yeah. realize. Yeah. It's just, yeah, polished, you know? Mm, mm. Mm. But oh, you'll it keep was an meant to be. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And, and, now you'll look for the glass. Like mm -hmm. I, there was a, I was on a beach maybe a year ago mm -hmm. at this beach. I didn't even know there was glass. Uh -huh. like someone was looking, like Just told you. Stuff and I was like, oh, what, are, what are you guys doing? And they're yeah. like, oh, we're getting glass. <laughs> I love it. So do you collect stones like you? Yeah, like mm -hmm. little. I little whenever things. I'm running, I'm always looking yeah. for like cool stones. Yeah, beautiful. Really and I I got one today. Check this one out. There's so much cool stuff around. Like, I love the artwork. Well, that's it. Yeah. It's about, like you know? this creative, yeah. like, flair. Look at that one. The what? Oh. The birthday cake. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah <laughs> let's, I'm going to go share that around. Oh, thank you. Whose birthday was that? Oh, you birthday. Yeah. Robin. Oh, man. I didn't even know. Robin. It's Robin's birthday. And you're Robin. Robin. Who's Robin? Robin on the board. Okay. I don't know who Robin is. Yeah, you're at you're, you're his party right now. Oh, yeah. I'm well, I'm not even sure he's in the name. Is it? Oh, 
Oh no, it's not even on there. Is he in there, Robin? Yeah, look at this. Yeah. I found this today. Don't take anybody. Go, go on, That's actually better than the last one. Yeah, look at the. Oh no, layers. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I picked up so, like, not so many, but some mm. shells as well that have like layers on them. I picked like a shell mm. yeah. with the other two. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. actually two shells. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what that's I thought. wonderful. Yeah, that's right. I wonder how that happened. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you think Shorts. about it, like how yeah, yeah. many years, like how, look at, look how long did it take for this oh, to shape and form, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's the fun part of running Yeah, shorts. You get to, you get to cross yeah. and like, see a lot more shorts in <laughs> space. Absolutely love it. This is like this one. <laughs> this is like this bit's the ground, it's like you can wash up as well. Who wants to go to the cake? Actually very nice to touch as well. It like is, yeah. Yeah, it's something satisfying about it. Oh, it really does. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, you see, like, there's an eye there. So oh, like, yeah. Like, dinosaur head. 100%, right? <laughs> <laughs> you would have called him Dipo Dog? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So cute. Very nice. Love it. Thank then, you so much oh, no for worries. showing me all that. I'm still discovering crystals yeah, and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only been like a year since I've been open to the power uh -huh. of crystals. Uh -huh. Before then, I was a bit skeptical. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I was like, oh, whatever, you know. Yeah, that's right. But I believe that yes. there is something, yeah. something I just, really. I just thought it was like whatever mumbo, you know. Yeah, that's it's right. Really not. No, it's really not. no. I think there's, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a reason why kings and queens had. Uh, right. Crystals exactly. or or sapphires yeah. or diamonds in yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. But like even you know, um, if the ancient Egyptians, you know, mm. when they were the, the waterway underneath the pyramids, mm. they would mm. put the gold and crystals mm. to drink that water mm. because that would nourish you. Mm -hmm. like that's it's, it's yeah. it was founded, it was proven. Yeah. So they knew something that we don't know. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. How amazing is that? Yeah, yeah. There's that's a lot the we've got to learn, and that's the exciting bit. Right. Yeah, reconnecting with this type of thing. That's, that's exactly right. Mm. Yeah, I feel that as well. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Any time. I will get to keep it in a really safe place. Oh, and nice. It's going to be part of my fun. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you again. Uh, I need to give you another hug. <laughs> Thank you so pleasure. much. <laughs> I'll let you get back to whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever I am. What exactly are you. we doing? No, no, you didn't. No, no. What, this what is perfect. You I'm from Poland. I, I was putting your Austrian or even uh, um, German. Sort of cr close, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Just across the border from Germany, yeah. Mm. Mm. Far away. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is cool. My, my heritage okay, is German as well. Is it? Closer to the border, border of Austria. Okay. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. I lived in Germany right before I arrived in Australia. Mm. What an amazing country and mm. amazing people. Mm. Germans are crazy. Mm. I love it. Mm. <laughs> they really are. Yeah. yeah. They really are. Yeah. yeah. Explains everything. <laughs> you guys, yeah. I've just been looking into the history of Europe. I'm really interested. And like Poland, Germany, like the, you guys have just had so much happen in the like thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. So many kingdoms and, you know, it's just so many movements of people. Yeah. Our history books are fat, that's for sure. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really fascinating. And, <laughs> and then to, to start to, because I don't believe everything we're how history has been, mm -hmm. so that like unraveling yeah. the, like what actually happened in history. <laughs> Very interesting. It is, it mm. is, it is. Mm. A lot of things happen in Poland, but yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you guys can, you, you guys can tell 
by even like how we're raised, like you can tell that our mothers are children of war, yeah. our grandmothers, I sure. mean, and then they still, I don't know, you, you can feel it, like, mm. strong <laughs> women, strong. Strong. very caring, so, so, so very, so, yeah. so very loving, well. uh -huh, yeah. so we have mothers and grandmothers as well, yeah. yes, yes. for yeah. war too, for other countries that aren't even our own. Mm. Mm. We, we have a lot of deep heritage with our, yeah. with our um, grandparents as well mm. in war. Everybody in the world has. But Poland, though, has had, like, just armies coming from left, right, both exactly. directions, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Always. All these three different ones. Yeah, but it's like, it's, it's good to feel this way, like, seeing our mums being, you know, very strong. Mm. Like, it definitely did travel through generation, and it sure. still is. As yeah. I see my government just like, well, okay, you're yeah. Just natural yep. way of being, which yeah. is pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And nice. It's a great thing. It's a great yeah. thing, I think yeah. so. Mm. Mm. Yeah, wow. Right. Beautiful country. Mm. Beautiful people. Mm. Mm. What about Australia? Oh. Australia. Australia, mate. <laughs> Australia, mate. <laughs> she am, does it perfect. I am Australia, a mate. big, big yeah, bloody hole. <laughs> <laughs> bloody what? Bloody hell. Bloody hole, mate. <laughs> yeah, love it. Okay. I, you know, I love, I'll, I'm I'll, the I'll biggest you know, patriotic. Do you know where mate comes from? No idea. So, so the, the told me this the other day. I, I, I love telling people this one yep. because not many people, not many people know it. <laughs> Camera, <off. laughs> Camera up. Camera up, so we can see you. The, the, the <laughs> word, the word, no. the, the word mate is actually an acronym. It's what? An acronym. Acronym. Each letter means a different word. Okay. Oh yeah. It was made up by the Aussies in World War One in Gallipoli in uh -huh. the trenches. Mate stands for meet at the end. As they're jumping out of the trenches, be machine meet gun at down. Meet at the end. Ma see you, mate. Huh? Meet at the end. Oh, it's, there you actually, go. it's actually an Australian made. Australian man no, I can teach made something. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm stealing your Yeah, because I didn't, yeah. I didn't know that until I've, I've only yesterday. known it for a couple of years myself. Wow. Mm. But yeah, that, that's where it was made up. And we see it in old Western movies now. They put on, you know, mm. oh, mate, it didn't even, the word mate didn't exist yeah. before Gallipoli. Wow, wow. And it's made up by the Aussies. That's why mate is is a, is an original Australian slang word. Mm. Mm. No other word. Slash acronym. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely use it um, towards uh, educating other people. You carried that. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Right. I'll see you around, yeah? Bye bye. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Did you get a rock from Jeff? Did he get your rock? Did he? My one, say, my, my one around the edge says Australia and SOS. <laughs> what does what is your it? one say? Uh, Australia and I'm SOS. Not sure. He gave me, he bought me this rock. This is pretty cool. You got this one. It's got yeah, a dolphin on it. And it's got Australia and SOS in the Morse code around the edge. Ah. So he, you, all you've got to do is find your. Um, I haven't got the glasses on me. So. Well, you, yours might say Mindful Earth. Oh, My yeah. one says uh, Australia. Okay. He, He's like, a he, he really, cat. really. You what? Jeff took me by surprise. <laughs> Interesting cat. Well, well, after he left, you know, I was saying, oh, American bloody TV shows. And you said to me, not all Americans are alike. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and Jeff, well, him and I didn't really get along. His mm. American voice mm. really grinded on me. Yeah. Um, and he had asked me to help him at silly times. Yeah, I, I just took it. We just didn't get along. Yeah. But then, a couple of a few days before he left, I, I did manage to approach him. That's mm. after about I don't know four days after two days, two or three days after I gave him the esky anonymously, so he could store his food properly mm. instead of in plastic bags. Mm. And uh, it was a bit cold the first time, second, day. third day. I was able to actually talk to him, and I said, look. Let's just put the past behind us mm. and and help that 
and let us build a better future, better friendship for the future. Amazing. And he turned around and just gave him the biggest, nicest, warmest cuddle. Oh. And you know when you can feel someone if they're yeah. doing a cuddle proper or yep. is it just pretend? Yep. You could feel the warmth within with yeah. within him. Amazing. And yeah. then it took me a couple of days to contemplate mm. and reflect. Mm. And um, mm. he, he really took me by surprise mm. when um, the, the day before he left, he bought me this rock yeah. and said, here, just yeah. like you, you're the sun, yeah. but there's a comet sh sh shining through your universe. And look, on the outside here, in Morse code, I've spelt Australia for you. And this is for you, Shorts. And on the back, it's signed by him and yep. all. And it's just like, really fucking moved me, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, really, really moved me. He spent the whole week doing all those rocks. So, like, <laughs> when he comes back next time... Yeah, he said he was we'll, coming we'll back. We'll so. have a different relationship. Yeah, exactly. And that's the, yeah. that's the thing about community. Like, I've realised that sometimes you... The people you connect with the most, you, you initially might head butt heads yeah because you're alike yeah <laughs> right yeah. and 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 so yeah like usually if you butted heads with someone you you respect them in a way when you well, become at least friends you're, them. at least you and i can't yeah correctly pronounce long words <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what you mean what do you mean uh you know some words like um <laughs> fin, fin a minute Oh yeah, yeah. That one there, I can't say. Yeah. You can say, and then yeah. sometimes you try to say a word, and no. I can say it. Yeah, I think the more you speak, especially on a podcast, the better you get at speaking. But you've got to practice, and yeah. like those words, the big words, you've just got to just got to keep saying them until they start making sense. <laughs> and some words, maybe you never ever get. You know. Oh, he's got his speaker. Cool. I'm gonna put some music on then. Or is it? It's back on. It's yeah, funny. There was just a whole birthday party going on. I've got no idea who it was actually uh, <laughs> whose party it was. That sounds really get, loud. That, that, get that sounds loud through our earphones. Yeah. Because there's speakers still up the front there. I'm gonna go tell them to turn it down. No, a bit. no, it's, it's not loud. No, no, but it's it's, it's loud through our earphones. Yeah, this is this is why. I'm, this is why I wanted to set up that um, that larger tent that I've got available mm. now. Yeah. And now that's a big, long, like a uh, eight or ten man tent or something. Mm. With a with my with a, a screen at one end, away from the music house, mm. which is here. Mm. So, so that this could be played at night time. So sure. people want to watch it, watch it away from the barn because yeah. this is the music area. Yeah, totally. I agree. Right? Yeah, you, I don't. You, you can't. It, you can't have the two happening. No, I agree. Unless you have a, it, it, a dedicated movie night here. Yeah. But like Saturday night, it's probably not the best time to play a movie. I don't think. I, I don't think it, it is. Be it, I don't think it is any night. Yeah, I there think you There should you're be right. a dedicated area for it. Yeah. So setting up my tent. My other, other big can tent. we set it up in the, the trees here? Yeah, we can put it wherever you want it. Yeah, that could be good. And then it's just a little movie theatre. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really nice. And and then it's still connected to the power of here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, cool. Get cushions and nice Yeah, well, well this thing it's in a tent. So yeah. no seats. Just yeah. cushions, just bean bags, yeah, whatever you want to lie on. And we could uh we could chromecast it. Yeah. From the yeah. We'll put all the movies on one hard drive and well, cr Netflix. Chromecast is just streaming. Yeah, yeah, that's well, right. Which is, which is the same, so you like. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Yeah, that'd be uh, good. You, you can't really. Chrome, Chromecasting uh, movies off a hard drive is a little bit more difficult. Yeah, have you. But streaming 
is yep. easy. Yes. And t with today's thing, like that's, that's I was trying that, to work that, out how to do that. Actually. Well, that's streaming now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. So it's not really set up for streaming movies. Off a hard drive. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I I tried to work it out. Actually, I couldn't get it to yeah. work. Yeah. Um, you have to have a direct connection to the. Okay. Um, and and Mick said that the ox jack on the mm. on the projector there was busted, so you oh, can't okay. ox out. Yep. Yep. So um, we need it. But anyway. Mm. So. Yeah. Nice. We'll discuss. Yeah. Let's do we'll that. We'll discuss tomorrow when mm. you, when I see you walking around. Mm. Where can I set up my tent? Mm. All right. Mm. And then we'll do that, and um, we'll put some. Uh, put some I've got the pickaxe down at my tent. Put some boys to bear, bear it. Just put a cable yep. just under the ground. Yeah. We don't have to be fucking spec. Yeah, not sweet. Yet. No, not yet. Exactly. <laughs> little steps. Yeah, little steps. Mm. Temporary, and then do it proper later. Mm. Yep. That's okay. how I've yeah. done everything here. Yeah. Well, that, that's me. It's the it's so the only way to do it. Otherwise, you fucking never do anything. Yeah. Right? If you don't Lots take it the first step because you haven't got the right things, you'll never get it done. Lots of little steps. Yeah, that's right. And even if you don't do it 100%, as long as it works and yeah. it's safe and yeah. these type of things, I feel that. Yeah, we're not going to play it in a cyclone. No, no, no. <laughs> that's right. It's not that we get that sort of weather here until winter. Yeah. And you wish you were in a cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. One yeah. of my fantasies, or one of my, one of the things I haven't done that I really, really mm. want to do, mm. uh, that I've had some mates do, mm. is go up north in cyclone season. Yeah. And stay in one of those hotels or that go. Th th uh, most buildings mm. in cyclone-proof mm. areas, mm. standard buildings, are, mm. you know. Uh, cyclone, pretty much cyclone proof. Yeah, definitely. And, and you can you can That's put it, you can put a bit of strap right, like put a proper harness on yourself, mm. and you can tie yourself to the balcony of hotel rooms mm. and fly out. Some of my friends have done this, and it's one of the things I really what? want to do. One of my friends smashed into the side of the building and hurt himself. The other one just had great fun and managed to land back on the balcony. No now, I want to be able to land back on the balcony, Whoa. or maybe not fly away. From the balcony. That's pretty wild. Yeah, but it's just one of the last dangerous things I'd like to do. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Get the a last. Cyclone. It, it might, might be, be the last. <laughs> totally. You'd be like, who? There was a... Oh, you reminded me of in Point Break, you know, Patrick Swayze at the yeah, end. He yeah. surfs that final wave. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to surf that wave. There's no... And I'm probably not going to survive it. <laughs> but that's the last thing I want to do. That's yeah, the same type of thing. That was a good show for its time, wasn't Point it? Break was good. Yeah, we watched it uh, a couple of months ago yeah. here. Yeah, Amazon Prime has still got it going. Yeah, yeah. No, there's some good good, uh, good wisdom in that movie, you know. But it's still a, it's still quite Hollywoodized. I wa watching it the other month, I was like, ah, oh, okay. There's some stuff in there that they didn't need to put in. You yeah. know, this, this typical Hollywood shit. But the general storyline is amazing. Yeah. It's like these bank robbers that they're just out to live life. Yeah. They're just and it's like, how are we going to, how do we do that? Well, we, let's rob banks so we got money and we can live the freedom. I never that's suspected that for a high agent, though, did they? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. What was his name? Uh, oh, Kino Kino Ken, Roos was. Brody? Brody? Oh, Pipe. Of what? Just the same as usual. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet. Oh, that's a nice pipe. Yeah, it's a good one. I got there it from. Go. Uh, it was from the Salvos. Here yeah, you load, load up it. Yeah, no, I was just looking at it. Oh, you got it from the Salvos. Yeah, it was in, in the people, people chucking it out. It's a dragon. Oh, not Salvos, Binnies and Margs. Yeah, it's wicked, eh? Really cool. I wonder where the story of this is comes from. Yeah, what well, I want to know the story is from where it is. Yeah. From, from that Vinnies and Marks, because mm. people leave their stuff outside the bin there. <laughs> the box, check the box out. Cheech and Chong. Yeah, that was from Vinnies as well. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, no. the Did you used to work there? <laughs> no, no, I used to be on meth. No, I used to be on meth and go and raid the shop every night, you know? <laughs> what, whatever was outside the bin was Oh, fine. yeah, yeah. Go and check out what, what was yeah, well, there, the, dropped well, off. The finish, finish and, uh, did uh, they, did they know you were stupid. doing it? Why? Oh, 
Well, because the, I had no sense of like uh, a value of worth and stuff. Like you go in their dumpster bins, and they throw out all sorts of name brand stuff. Like none of my clothes are like bought. Yep. I haven't bought clothes. No, I don't. I can't remember last time I bought clothes. Yeah. I just take them to the binnies. Yeah. What's outside the bin is mine. Yeah. Right. The, the good thing about the Lions in Margs, though, they, it, they still keep the prices really low. Like oh, the Vinnies don't. No, they no the, the Lions. Yeah, oh, the yeah, Vinnies, the is, yeah, they've gone Vinnies. now. They, they're like, they don't even negotiate prices anymore. Yeah. They're like, nah, sorry, that's the head office price. They set the prices. We've got to keep them at that now. Is there a, a no, hole in this? No, to just the one you suck on. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so look, one one man's trash, another man's treasure. A hundred percent. When when you're on meth, you just go hard, just get everything, and that's why you, you drive through. Ta- you drive through, through somewhere. Yeah. You just look for the houses that got lights on all night and heaps of mess in the yard. Mm. Meth addicts. Yeah, right. Always up. Always up. No Doing time gardening. No time to clean up. <laughs> No, our house. Look at these guys all dressed up. Have a look at this. Yeah, sensational. <laughs> and that's just, they've all managed to find these clothes that were on the rack there. I didn't know there were so many clothes on there. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, the Lions is good in Margs. So, like, they, you can get a bag of uh, clothes, a $6 bag, a paper bag, and you just like I've got wardrobes out of it like a whole new wardrobe you pack three pairs of jeans and four t-shirts a couple of shirts jeans are no good the six dollars got no legs <laughs> <laughs> well see that's so funny your, your shorts I I feel like I wear jeans all the time yeah. that's my thing yeah. is I love to wear jeans so je- jeans fit, fit good on your body yeah like when you walk they shoot you from behind and oh, as well as front oh me you mean yeah yeah I feel comfortable by them. yeah they, they look very comfortable and they sit on your hips good mm. they shake your ass good yeah yeah good. yeah, yeah. yeah they, they do look good on you yeah so it's my it's my sort of thing yeah you know what I want to get is some um, suspenders I've got suspenders have you <laughs> <laughs> not for stockings Mate, for pants got, yeah <laughs> yeah no but yeah, that's I, funny I can, I can give you a pair I've got one really good pair but yeah. it's mine yeah you can have the other pair amazing yeah, yeah black ones well I just try them yeah. I've never worn them before uh, suspenders are good they pull you short you fucking short right up your crap I love it <laughs> <laughs> you, you wear your shorts with suspenders is that what you do? yeah sometimes Wow. If I'm a bit high or drunk and I want to fucking ride up the track, <laughs> if I see a girl walking around in yeah. short shorts, I'm like, fuck you, I'm going to go shorter. Yeah, I'm going shorter. So I'll put on suspenders. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, nice. Look at these guys. I love that red outfit with the red hat. Yeah, here he is. Hello. How are you going? <laughs> Are you going to dress up too? Sorry? Agree, Are you again. Are going to dress up? You took, well, she took oh, the... Oh, it's happening now. Yeah. It's all happening now. Yeah. So... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you oh, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. It's very Come casual. On. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come okay. in here. It was the in, in ju- uh, natural... Engine up. Okay. Yes, that's yeah. right. I've so never been there. That one is for you. Oh, wow. I've never seen a shell like that before. Oh. It has something on look, it. It almost looks it's... like a... Oh. I don't know. It's almost like a crab Yes, skull. that's what I thought too, but it's an actual... Oh, uh, I think that's a... Sh- yeah, it's a mollusk of some variety. Oh, wow, cool. It's got this growing on it. Nice, uh, like a scallop, yeah. you know yeah. the scallop shell. Yeah. Do you have a look? Yeah. And no, no, no. Okay. And this Cheers. one is for you. Ah. Oh. Look at the print on it. It's very. Like wow, cool. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just the cool thing of the ocean. Right. Exactly. Wow. Oh, I don't know where that one, one came from. Maybe that's not that cool. Have you seen any like that around? Someone's Would it be a crab shell, you think? This one? Uh, the other one that you showed me. Uh, which one? 
this one. This oh, one this is like actually an animal. Yeah. 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 So like gorgeous. Sort of I love it. There you go. Second one to the collection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice. Cool. Last time it was interrupted. <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't have to. Please <laughs> interrupt you. as many times as you Thank like. You. you know, I found. Do you want to sit down? Yeah, no pressure. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, it's, it's, you don't have to either. It's all good. Yeah. 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 Seems so shy. Someone not so shy. Yes. Yeah. It's it's funny how people uh, change their. Have their energy as soon as they know there's a camera on. Yeah. Yeah. So I've I've got to this. I'm starting to realise that we just don't tell anyone. I yeah. uh, just record and then afterwards ask for permission. And most people will say, "Yeah, no worries." I would say, just to try and get people to be their most natural state. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, but it's interesting how people fr like they stop talking well, <laughs> when they're on a podcast. Well, well maybe just let them realise that's what it's looking at you. Yeah. Look, I'm not on show here. No, no, no. I'm. I'm, I'm just another person on the, the mic. But yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's it. So it's not quite as confronting. You're just yeah. an anonymous voice. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should make a sign up here. Anonymous speakers only. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. You sit there if you don't want to be on camera. Yeah. Anonymous speakers. And if you want to be, and then there's this, the the camera spot yeah, as well. Yeah. Another little sign in there on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's that's a good idea. Yeah. Just yeah. Simple little. People can just come in and be quiet. They don't have to show their face. They can yeah, speak. Yeah. Point at the sign. Yep. Yeah. That's People a great come idea. There, you just point at the sign. I have another one saying another sign off camera like over here yeah yeah no no Maybe, yeah sign. good idea because that, that'll cute little signs like that that'll help with people breaking their podcast virginity yeah if you're not on camera yeah. then you'd be a lot more relaxed I think good good planning we shall implement it yeah so there's a big party going on <laughs> Lots of dress ups happening. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so this is the beauty of like community. These people have just met each other. It's contagious. Every coming in oh what can I I want to be a bride's The dress up happens. And it it's kind of cool sitting where we are because we just get to see it all happening. Yeah. You know? Like it's just the, this is the show happening. Short ass. 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 Short and while we uh, I go and get a coffee so let's see what we can find for you gentlemen and ladies or men and ladies I've stopped calling I, I think calling men gentlemen it takes away from their their men manliness it is uh, okay fine it's good to be gentle but we need to be that warrior and I feel by calling men men rather than gentlemen is it's like acknowledging that that warrior in each person oh each man all right we're gonna put some soulful liquid drum and bass on in the house and then I'm gonna get a coffee soulful drum and bass let's try and make this Get these guys to make it. Here we go. 
Yeah, one sec. You can listen to some music. It's quite good having this, being able to change the mics. So, can you hear me? What's going on? All right, we're back online. I still didn't get me coffee. <laughs> I'm ready to go do that. I didn't get my coffee, but you want to tell a story, shorts about your life? Okay. <laughs> I'll go you make coffee. <laughs> no, I'm not telling it till you get back. Hey? I'm not telling it till you get back. Oh, you could just tell the, the listeners. <laughs> we'll just, okay, I'll leave the speakers on. They can listen to you.
Okay, I still have my coffee. Sidetrack, kettle's on. So we'll be back in a second. It ain't too far away from either. So you can sort of, we can play this music in the background actually, I think. There we go. That's the thing about Rizzlers, they all fall apart. Who? Rizzlers. Oh yeah, yeah. They all fall apart. They do it on purpose. <laughs> because then, you know, we lose three quarters of them and we have to buy a new packet. If they if they really cared, they'd have uh, little blunt roll like things you could I use. I tend for to them. disagree. I think if you really cared about your papers, you'd find something else to roll little bloody like paper filters out of, wouldn't you? Yes. That's yeah. why your papers fall apart because you, <laughs> <laughs> you, tear tear them, you only yeah. get about ten or fifteen like filters and no. then bang, gone. Th that's it. Demolished. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. We w I will learn eventually. Yeah, but do if what I do, just if, make gay filters, gay if, menthols. No, no. I, don't, I honestly feel smoking menthol, it, it can't, it, like, it just doesn't feel right. There's something wrong with it. And I, yeah, I don't know what it is, but even, I've, I've got to the point now where I feel filters themselves. Like, I don't think, I think they, maybe they, stop some of the, they say you know they're stopping this the, the yes, uh, we're, particles we're, ig we're ignorant to uh, like uh, tobacco where's the camera badness. where's the camera oh, i've got a point into the dressing room oh sweet okay upskirt. yeah that works upskirt. Upskirt. all night <laughs> upskirt not yeah that works well though actually yeah, people yeah, no it was on uh, yeah, Oh yeah, yeah. I just I can stick it on this thing. Oh yeah, you want to put it there? So yeah, when you were making the coffee, yeah, I just pointed it in a different direction. Yeah, playing music. no, good idea. It'd be cool actually to have it on a a, a pivoting stand, and you could just easily yeah, I'll, adjust I'll it. This. It doesn't have a little screw on the side of it. Underneath it does it. No, it stand, no. But, but you could those. screw something into the back of that there. But yeah. Uh, filters. I, I feel that like when I smoke a cigarette now with a filter and without, I feel that without is I'm getting sure. I'm actually getting a better value out of the tobacco without the filter. But maybe that's just getting more nicotine. 
Who knows? But yeah, so I'm on on the blunts world, which you've always got to find a bit of cardboard, which ends up being the Rizzler packet. That ends up like that. <laughs> this is the little dog. Here is Coco. He's back. I wonder where he went. You got that lighter? You... Ah, Coco, beautiful. <laughs> she tells all the big dogs what to do. She, she's the, she's the boss. Yeah, she tells what is, all the big dogs what to do. What does Teo do with her? Does he come oh, the, over? She's quite good, Teo. Yeah, cool. Yeah, she, her and Teo get along really well. Yeah, nice. And yeah, that's probably because uh, yeah. she knows he's the boss of the the male side. Yeah, well maybe. He thinks he is. I, I just like the look when other, uh, the other big dogs come in here, mm. and they see me, Yeah. they don't see Coco. Yeah. The expression they put on their faces, they just like, oh, they look around, where, where's that little dog? <laughs> <laughs> where's that little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to come and attack me in a <laughs> Don't get him, go Does that, him. You reckon don't that's what him. goes through their minds? Yeah. 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 I think you're probably right. They see you, they're like, oh, the she's yeah. around. Who's that little dog? Who's that little dog? <laughs> Classic. Mean little bitch. Yeah. She tells us what to do. Right. We're the big girl dogs. That little thing, she's a tough little slut. Yeah. You know, we had her guts. Where is she? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Because it, yeah, all, it's yes. all big dogs otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when Coco looks a bit afraid, I'll just pick her up. You want me to show you where the one mm. Yeah. And then they even look her even weirder. Oh, you're getting picked Thank up you. now, eh? <laughs> and then she's back down on the ground. Oh no, we better not bully her. Mm. Yeah, I love watch. I love watching dog politics. It's fascinating. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think we can learn from like learning about the dogs and how they interact with each other? You know the social structure and the. Like, I think there's a lot we can learn as humans. That's how we behave, but we just we don't see it quite so clearly. You know, it's, you well, could. Well, we don't see it anymore. No, there's, but there's it's too much electronic media. But so, looking around and looking around the bar at the barn at the moment, mm. nobody's on their mobile phones. Mm. They're all like conversing with each, with each other. Yep. Communicating mm. intelligently, mm. smartly. Mm. You go somewhere like anywhere, say even if we went into uh, Carradale to the pub, mm. everyone's on their phones. Mm. They're not. They're not communicating. Mm. They're not interacting. Mm. They're losing the ability to communicate through expression. Sure. Yeah. And and that's what we have to relearn. Well, like I didn't learn it. I, well, was I'm it learning it now, how to talk to people again. I've I've never been a social network mm. phone sort of person. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm more um, hands on. Mm. Mm, do something, you know. Mm. Not sit on my phone all the time. It's really good to come up here, and nobody's on their phone. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The, the only time you ever s- see people sitting up here on their tablets and stuff, which is beautiful because mm. it's limited, is uh, say Ryan and Scarlett. Yeah, they're yeah. allowed on their tablets in the morning for a while, but no, after that, on. after that, they're on it all day, man. Are they? Ryan, uh, Riley sits under that thing. Uh, just sits table. Under He's it. there all day playing video games, which I think is a bit of a tragedy, really, because well, before, they should be before out. Christmas. They didn't have them, did they? Ah, uh, is that what happened? They yeah. got them at Christmas. Yeah. yeah, and look at now they just don't even leave the the room. I mean, it's I can see that they're, they're they're loving what they do yeah but you the opportunity here is like the the country yeah and it's like there's horses there's sheep there's yeah there's all sort you could go explore and build stuff so they didn't they, they haven't experienced that but i think if there was more kids they'd all be packing off you yeah. know they'd all be wandering off together yeah yeah true you need true. that you need a few of them for it for that to start to happen
Freedom's got a different name each week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've just realised. No, he's changed his... It's not Freedom now, it's actually... Um, Robin? No. Ben... Ben U? Ben U. Ben U. Ben U. Ben U, yeah. It's a Japanese name, I think. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was uh, chatting to a lady today about m- changing my name from Brett to Bo, and it was it it's like that old me, it's like that ego, that ego death of the, the best oh. thing. The best thing about changing your name, mm. I found this out in um, two thousand and fifteen mm. when I changed my name from Macintosh, which was my stepfather's name. Mm. To Vinyloida, which Wait, is Vinyloida, Vino, yep. or Vinyloida in Australia, yep. Yep. to my dad's name. The best thing about that was I didn't have a bad credit rating anymore. Ah. There was no credit rating associated to my name. Right. So I was able to build a new credit rating up now. No way. And so now I've got a perfect credit rating. Whoa. So you just and changed the name. Yeah, well, I didn't know that was going to be the outcome. Right. The other yeah. one too was... Unintentionally. Unintentionally. <laughs> and also I was able to change my signature to something better. Hmm. What, more squiggles? No, just my initials. Yeah. Yeah, right. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't, like, spend days and days no. perfecting uh-huh. it. No. <laughs> I changed it from M, H, and my old last name, which is a lot of letters. Hmm. To just MHW. Okay. Easy. So simple. Easy. Yeah. I haven't signed my name in and, and that's so long. And that's why it's important for me to k- hang on to my uh, internet yeah. that's on contract. Yeah. It's unlimited anyway. Yeah. And uh, and just pay, continue paying it. Mm. And mm. at the end of it, better credit mm. rating again. Mm. I've mm. got no debt. Mm. Nice. That's a yep. that's a life hack. Yeah. If you've got bad credit rating, change, change your, name. your name. Yeah, and start again. Fuck. They must have a... I would have thought they'd link it, but... It, it took two years for the police to link it all properly together. Mm. Mm. Which is good in the meantime. Right. <laughs> Gives you a bit of space. Yeah, really. Huh. And that sometimes that's all you need is a bit of time. But that was 2015 through to 2017. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, things are much more connected even now yeah. than what it was then. Yeah, sure. Yeah, linked up a better system. But you know, they still they say that like driving around on South Australian plates, the the WA system doesn't automatically see if you're registered or not. No. Right, they've got to look it up. They've got to yeah. call South Australia and yeah. find out. Pass that fire machine again, please. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that like name changes is, is super. It's like when you go through changes in life, I think it's changing your name can be a very powerful experience. It's yeah. like it's people cut their hair when you know new change, but changing your name can also yeah. like transform you. Yeah, and I think we should do it more often. The best I've talked about it, uh, The Simpsons, is an episode where. Homer changes his name to Max Power. Yeah. And he saw it on the on a hairdryer. <laughs> 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 That's where he got the idea. <laughs> but it's a, amazing because as soon as he changed his name, he starts mixing with the Clintons and all these like <laughs> high end people. <laughs> Max Power, exactly. So it was like there's power in the name that you have. Yeah. And uh, it's and I think. Names resonate with people if they've got the right name. It, it, it really people remember your name probably yeah. if it's more uh, in line with who you are. Yeah, well, I guess my name like would, shorts sticks. Yeah, it wouldn't stick if I wore long pants. <laughs> and I was a tall person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. Pants. Exactly. So your name has to resemble you, your your personality, your characteristics. So. But then I also think your name, if you want to become that person, yeah. right? If you want to, b- and that's why I love nature names. Like there's river here, you know, like more connect with nature. Okay, call yourself river because yeah. every time someone says it, you feel like a river. Yeah, yeah. 
you know. So there's that that power of the word, spoken word. That's what they they'd always like in the Osho commune. He he changed. He gave everyone a name. Yeah, yeah. But they were more like spiritual names, Swami and Shivananda and all these type of names, <laughs> which had like I guess they had Indian meanings. Yeah. But I've always liked nature names. I think nature names are cool. It's like that's the American Indians, you know, the sitting bull or uh, some of the dancing horse and things like that. Prancing horse? What? Can you remember any of the the Indian chiefs' names? Oh, Geronimo. I remember Geronimo. Yeah, I remember Custer. Custer, yeah. Custer's Cust- last stand. stand yeah. mm. They were pretty realistic back in the day, those shows. Yeah. Now, now looking at them, they're like, mm, did I really watch that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't seem so realistic now. <laughs> no. Well, that's the same as the Dark Crystal that was playing before. Yeah. I was talking to Paul, French Paul, and he was saying that he saw this the dark crystal like three years ago and thought it was a new movie <laughs> <laughs> and he was like well it's not a very good movie because it's like really shitty sets <laughs> but then he just realized tonight that uh that it's a movie 30 years old and then you then you appreciate it it's like actually that they, they did a really good job for 30 years ago Alright mate, I'm gonna sign off. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, better take this in your pipe. Yeah, I'm uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and talk for a little bit and then probably go to bed too. There's your lighter there. Yeah, thank you. Alright, right, shorts, catch ya. Yeah, cheers. All right, so here we are. You're back with Bo on the Bo show. Uh, what do we want to talk about? Oh, have you put Robin on there? Robin is up. Nice. Where's Robin? Ah, oh, over there. I'll put some music on while I think about something to talk about. You're back, Shorts. All right. I tell you what's going to happen is I'm going to probably sh- shut down the podcast tonight. I'm going to give you a five-minute spiel of how we change the world. I'm working on my elevator pitch, and I'm going to time it. Maybe I'm going to time it. Okay. So. Let me give you a tour of the kitchen. We have a system that we're living under at this moment where it doesn't seem to be working because there's so much imbalance in mental health. Hang on. <laughs> like there's, there's seems to be so much unhappiness in the world, in, in Western culture. There seems to be so much loneliness so many mental health issues like why is that and what are we doing wrong for this to be the case because it's not normal like it's not how we're meant to be I believe that in the past we lived in societies that were harmonious and loving and kind and very beautiful created amazing things and amazing civilizations obviously not all of it like the ancient Egyptian empire lasted for 3,000 years. Like, they had to have had that harmony for it to last that long. There had to have been, like, beautiful uh, creation. There had to be, like, respect of the people. 
who were involved in the kingdom. Like the, it, I don't think it could have lasted so long if it was just everyone was slaves. And so that is my feeling, and I've started looking into history as to these past civilizations that we can learn from. But ultimately, what I've learned in the last two years at Mindful Earth Sanctuary, like living in a community, or creating the, like, it's, it's evolved from two years at the start to now. Uh, there's been lots of learning and lots of uh, experiences, lots of different people coming through different energies. But what I've realized is that this is normal. This is how we lived in the past and this is how we need to live now. We need to live in like real communities, not, not housing estates that call themselves communities, but actually communing together and connecting together. This is our norm. Like we're social beings, we're social creatures, and we naturally find stability and health, mental and physical, when you're in an environment with, uh, with other humans. There's people, there's role models, there's people that are leading you know, experts in some sort of field. There's, it's just like there's so much we can learn from each other. And we can look, like a great example is just people, when you get dance with somebody, someone dances really amazing. It's like, wow, I'm going to copy off him. I'm going to start moving the way he does. So we, we use humans, others, uh, to, to grow from. It's, it seems like it's a very understated understanding of just how important it is that these communities or families or tribes come together. But then, I mean, you've got to have harmony. But harmony is possible, and we have to understand that, that yes, there has been harmonious villages, cities, uh, civilizations, where things have gone well for th hundreds of years. And I think once we start to understand that, we should be striving for that type of system again. And like the Western system is is m amazing in so many ways, like for technology, for freedom. Like it, it's created freedom in the world where people can move to any like a lot of countries. They can travel the world. They can they can do a lot of things that because of the technologies that have been invented through capitalism, like this. Uh, desire for you know for money really that's what's driving everything but that that drive has helped fuel amazing things to happen <coughs> but in that process we've lost something very important which is that connection with other humans and that is why we have the mental health problems that we have that is why we have the loneliness. That is why we have people who don't understand how to, just can't communicate with other humans anymore and we're like isolated and shutting ourselves away. It's like too hard to communicate with others. We've lost the, that ability. So we, ha we have to realize that it's possible to live in harmony and then we have to create a system that we create this tribe slash sustainable village or villages that the aim is to live in harmony with all varieties of uh, humans not just one type of group but the whole spectrum that's how it was in the past and we can recreate it now I don't think it's as difficult as everyone realizes. Like, if you look at Mindful Earth, it just organically has been created. All we did was build some buildings, uh, offer a little bit of structure, little guidance, and it's it's creating itself. And now I can sit here and podcast, 
and not be involved in the like it's just all happening on its own so all you need to do is create set the system up and manage the system in a way that allows this freedom to flow so we have a we have a, a basic model to build tribes again and we can learn a lot from from these tribal systems of the past I know I've talked for more than five minutes seven minutes now and I, we, I could go into the design of the tribes but basically it comes down to p people are vibing at the different vibes and so rather than ha try and put all these different vibes into one tribe you have different clans that match e each vibe so farmers and then you have the people who love horses and then you have the the entertainers you have the the shamans the spiritual people you have all these thi all these people in different slightly like little clan their own clans they have their own creativity that they can set things up the way they want they build their own little village <coughs> But there's movement between all the villages. So the shaman might want to go and work, live in the, or work, spend a month in the martial arts clan, the warrior clan, because he wants to go and learn jujitsu, and then can move back to his uh, his clan, or he can move and live in in the the warrior clan and never leave. But the, having that ability to move between the different places is is where the freedom exists, and that's where maximum growth of a human exists. And what is maximum growth? It's learning from life. So having that ability to move to where you're drawn opens up full expansion, full consciousness rising. And it also creates people moving between the clans. It, it creates family. Yeah, so it, it helps strengthen the tribe. The more movement, the more people experience, the more people grow. And that is the, the essential net rule. That is the central requirement of this tribal system is harmony. Because if any one of those clans was to break off or revolt or mutiny, go against everyone else, all the whole system falls apart. So it's in the best interest of everyone involved to keep the harmony. It's for the survival of the tribe, harmony, love, trust, right these these are things you must do everything in your in your power to like keep growing and connecting and expanding every single person in the tribe which is beautiful because we create tribes that are centered around healing and they're centered around just having a good time exploring ourselves each other the world like exploring like doing just expanding expanding our minds expanding our bodies getting fit eating healthy just high vibing and vibing higher and higher and we create these sustainable tribe sustainable clans villages as a demonstration project we create a tr and we don't like what is the optimum number well we need to look into that maybe maybe we get the funding to be able to build a village 12 villages that you can fit 5,000 people in maybe 5,000 is the the magic number and then you separate the clans into you know what it be like 600 people per 6 612s 
72. <laughs> hmm. So you, you could have, yeah, well, you work that out. But I think you would also have, you wouldn't have the same amount of people in each clan. It would be dependent on what the need of the, the tribe is. So you want to be sustainable. So you do as many building as and creating as much as you can in in the tribe, in the clans, to produce for the tribe. So you got to have enough farmers. You got to have enough uh, horse people. You got to have <laughs> you got to have enough yeah uh, machinists. You, you got to like you just got to have skills in every department. And depending on the design of the tribe, is going to vary the number of people in each of the clans so yeah that's that'll be an organic thing maybe you just start with 500 like that's the idea here is to have a, this central space with the 12 clans around just to, as a demonstration project our display home that is mindfulness sanctuary we're like a display home a, a display community is the way I feel and it's really about getting people to come through and experience it like by experiencing it they're getting their eyes are, their minds are expanding and you know, the possibilities are becoming like wow okay we can do this we can live together and that expansion is what we need in the world we need people to realize that communities aren't just about cults or poor hippies living together and not not showering <laughs> although we're not doing a lot of showering here at the moment because we've got no water but we're getting water we're gonna get some water off the neighbors so yeah this this idea that uh, Yeah, so we what I'm seeking is funds. I need funds, abundance. I need abundance, abundance to build on this land uh, a functioning tribe as a demonstration project. And the tribe, like tribe, or you could say community or village, <laughs> like. It is a village. We're creating a village, like it's a suburban village. You say a thousand people living together, split in a way of the twelve clans. People live here. We have the uh, have all different types of activities. We have a restaurant. We have activities for people to come into the the place as tourists. It's like we become this creative hub where we we become abundant because there's such a demand for people to come to this place because we offer amazing workshops and we offer amazing classes we offer amazing retreats we we offer amazing experiences which is simply just to come and have a good time and and w do all these activities in this little alternate reality that exists here, this alternate rally of, of, like, of timelessness, like that is, it's a, it cannot fail, this is what the world needs, and I see it here, every, every time someone arrives, their eyes are like, whoa, wow, this is what I've always dreamt about, uh, but I haven't encountered it, and so, so to me, for anyone who has any doubt about investing in uh, rebuilding tribes. To me, it's the, the ultimate investment. It's the ultimate investment. For one, you get to change the world. You get to change people's lives on a huge scale. Like, like I, I love here, it's a bit of a, a you know key performance indicator that how many relationships form here like how many people hook up because you got people just really being themselves and 
they're finding other like-minded people being themselves and it, uh, it really uh, it allows for relationships to form and to me yeah the more the more relationships per month the better and then you can ultimately it's like how many babies are born how many babies are going to be born that have been created at mindful earth to me that's success and it's called bringing people together that's what we must seek and we must find the best system so I've talked for way more than uh, five minutes that's 15 minutes but I, th I, I, I don't see any other way to change things I, I feel that this the Western system is is uh, broken and I don't see there's a lot of support to be able to heal enough people in a hurry so the only way is to go back to our roots which is community tribal or family like we have to start again there in smaller groups and then expand out and build those tribes larger and larger and eventually they will become small towns because if you've got this system that's all in harmony there's going to be everyone wants to live there everyone wants to participate that's natural selection like I, I believe natural selection applies to towns natural selection applies to cities to uh, states and America is probably a perfect example of that of like because there's this freedom of movement between the 50 states it's like everyone can go wherever they want so that allows this natural state of people sorting out their where their vibration went like if you're into farming and you like potatoes you go to idaho <laughs> simple simple <laughs> simplified but california you want to be a superstar you want to be f fame and beauty and be around beautiful people and explore the world like california and the west coast but this freedom to move around is what allows expansion and you see that in the u.s like the americans are so expanded not all of them but a lot of them are they're very creative they're very expanded because that freedom to move to so many different places so many different options as to where you can go in the US like you can go down to the deep south the Mississippi or Georgia right, that's a very different place to what it is in California and then you can go to uh, what's it called Colorado like you go to Colorado and that's in the mountains and it's like free thinkers and, and beauty yeah, it's just it, there's so many possibilities in the U.S. and I think that has a big part as to why Americans are so expanded in their in their the way they speak and the way they think. Obviously, there's also a hot, whole other world. There's a whole other world that has kept people like the American system. If you don't break out of the system, then you are program to think a certain way but that freedom to express allows Americans to break out of that mm. yeah so this is what we must do we must rebuild community and we must utilize the systems of old ideas from the past lessons and learnings from the past to build the future yeah we're living in amazing times that this information is becoming available <coughs> more and more is it being understood about how we lived in the past thanks to the internet and all these amazing researchers the truth is coming out and I don't think the past was as dark as we're told I think there was a lot of light uh, at times at times you know in between the chaos uh, you think how much we've achieved in a hundred years and how f quickly how much our culture has changed 
<clears throat> just in a hundred years. Look at the sixties to now. Like the culture has changed. Sixties and then seven, like every decade our culture is changing. And you could imagine a civil uh, a kingdom that had reigned for three hundred years. Like how did they if they were improving the system every every year, that was their intention to make more harmony in the population what did they achieve they had to have nailed it they they had to have come up and found the recipe so yeah let's find it again let's find that recipe and let's make it happen there's a lot of beautiful people all waiting for something to happen and by bringing those beautiful people together, these creative, uh, you know, visionaries, we could, we can lead by example and show the rest of the world how it can be done. And obviously, we by doing it, we learn how it can be done too. We're all about learning and improving. So yeah, to me, there's no other option. It's a win, 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 win on so many levels. So, please, <laughs> let's do it. Much love. I've enough talk for me tonight. And, uh, yeah, let's chat soon.